Ghostbusters. So today we are going to a special location about three hours away. Um, it's a place called Dar Adam Kale. NBC has rated Dar Adam Kale as um, Disneyland for gun lovers. And also a lot of people call it no man's land over here. Uh, Usman, he's going to go with us. Yeah, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. We obviously have our... special, huh? We stopped for um, some tea. This is a tea that just came in. And this is name kya hai Jaiga? Quarter 2020. Well, we have finally entered um, the area called KPK. I'm seeing a lot of police checkpoints, a lot of, not, not even checkpoints, but they're actually like a lot of cop cars, military vehicles kind of pulled over on the side of the freeway. Our, and we're headed towards the shower first, and then we're gonna go even deeper in. And as soon as we enter Peshawar, check this out. This is a huge fort over here. So this is the main famous Khyber Pass gate. Alright, so we have Osman over here with us who is traveling with us to the no man's land. You live in Islamabad, you lived here all your life, correct? Uh, no, I've lived here like for the past 10 years. Most of your life, you are here, right? Yeah. So, have you ever been to Khyber before? This area? No, I haven't. I am uh, Peshawar, I am not going to go This is for new for me, so I'm really excited. What's the reason for you not coming to this town or this area? Oh, One of the reasons I didn't have somebody to like go with uh, because this area is like... Uh, uh. So we got escorted to the rescue emergency department at Khaber, uh, the government district over here. We got connected with one of the one of the in charge is over here. These are all his guys and they're doing a little training uh, exercise for us right now. What's your name? Muhammad Abdullah. Muhammad Abdullah. So his name is Muhammad Abdullah and he's the... Are you in charge? In charge, yes. So he's the in charge over here. The 25 kilometers is under his control. So any disasters that happen, anything that he has to do, is it comes all under his control. So that's pretty cool. So he's going to show us a little bit about their emergency response team and their ambulance. And he's telling us this is a... Uh, seven minutes response time? Seven minutes response In every, everywhere in the district we are responding in seven minutes. And uh, at Spire Suit, we, uh, we are during fire emergency because uh, that absorbs many heat and we can save ourselves as well. That's how I'm I'm working since one year. And this is more of like the disaster rescue team they have. They got the saw over there as well to break into like car doors. All right, so this is their control room. Sara communication. communication has Look at this. That's the life, man. He's got a nice office over here. They're giving us the front of the escort all the way to the gun market. The houses that they have over here, they literally look like fortresses. All the houses over here, they look like fortresses. But it's not under the control of the military at all. Actually, locals live here in these fortress looking houses. We're going through a checkpoint right now. So this is a train track in uh, deep in KPK Khaber Pakhsunpa area and we're, we're been told that this has been active since 1800 since the British rule. Well, we're only 27 kilometers away from Afghanistan. So we're in dead center of Khaber right here. They have seating areas right in the water in the middle of like the mountains. We stopped over to get some tea, we're gonna get some snacks, and then we're gonna keep moving. We came down to the area and we're gonna have some uh, quick like potato bites. The cool part around this area is that you actually have to sit in the water. You gotta put your feet in and that's yeah. like another level of like greatness that you get over here. So we're taking our shoes off and we're gonna get in the water. I wonder how cold it is. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> Guy brought us some tea over here. I'm just gonna keep on zooming in on his face. I'm gonna get this guy famous. <laughs> these are called pakore. Ye alu ke pakore kaun se? Alu ke pakore. So these are potatoes um, fried in like a uh, flour batter. It's really fresh. We have reached Khaber Bazaar now. This is how the area looks. So this house that starts over here is the famous Ayub Afridi's um, house. No, the actual guy who pretty much invented 
um, heroin around the world. And Pablo Escobar has nothing on this guy. I, mean, I don't think I've seen this anywhere, even on YouTube, anywhere at all. I'm trying to get a contact to go to the main gate of the guy, the warlord's house over here. So that's our guy right there. The family actually still lives here. So we're gonna see what we can do. We're inside the, you wanna call it a, I don't know, a fort pretty much. It's a whole fort over here. I'm just, I'm just at an awe right now. This whole area, like this guy has so much power in this area. It's just mind blowing. And for us to be able to get access inside his personal home and a space, it's just beyond belief. There's a swimming pool right back there. All these trees, everything that they have over here, most of them were actually imported from the United States, different parts of the world. They have all kinds of fruits, vegetables, animals, even birds, wildlife that this guy actually imported from all across the world. The craziness of this area is that everyone knows who he is. Ayub Afridi was this crazy warlord, drug lord. He's the guy who actually figured out that what heroin actually does to your body and how he can make money off of it. And he sold it around the world. Yeah, look at all this. Man, look at the artwork on the wood. Guest house there. Literally standing in, in that center of the warlord's house. Yeah. People used to live over here, like, yeah. and they still do live here. That's true. His son, just we saw his son, right? We saw his son like not too long ago, yeah. but like us to get access to come to a location yeah. like this, like, well, about this like, you can't even imagine. <laughs> wow. So we're actually inside the house right now. They don't have electricity right now, but oh my God, look at this. Look at these swords. Glass pistol. So that guy right there is the famous, famous drug lord, warlord. Oh, and that's an old school TV, national TV. Oh, look at the artwork here. Gorgeous. Guest room. The food place to come. He's telling us that all of this, a uh, western toilet, a bathtub, especially in an area like this, was all pretty much created in 1987. Like, look at this remote. Like old school remote, like they've kept it exactly how it was since 1987. Oh man. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? This is a formal dining room. The chinaware that they have in here. And that's the pool right here. At the border of Afghanistan pretty much. And we're at an area now where there's so many trucks just parked on the side of the road uh, to get into Afghanistan. <laughs> and look at this view where they're setting up our seats for us. Wow. I mean, all of these trucks are just in line, is straight going to all the way to Afghanistan. <laughs> They brought us some um, local tea that's called kahwa. This is really good, like super good, sweet, and this is like herbal tea. So herbal tea is amazing. So all this green tea and everything that is made over here is made from the natural springs, natural river that flows through, and that's how they make it. We are in the main market of Khyber Pass. A lot of stores are actually closed right now, but we found one of the stores that the guy knows about 
was actually open and he's gonna show us around. Check this out, he's got weapons all over. Their hospitality over here is that any place you go, they're gonna offer you tea. And if you don't take tea, it's kind of like a disrespect to them because they really, it's like they do it from their heart. Oh, same case as before. Delicious. I gotta be honest, before coming to Khyber area, to the so-called world's largest illegal gun market, as everyone calls it, and the Disneyland for gun lovers, um, the biggest thing we realized is that it is not like that anymore. The Pakistani government has turned this place under the control of the army. And we're even talking to the local people over here. And it is very, very safe. The um, question is that when the and he brought a he brought AK forty seven with him as well. COVID nineteen COVID-19 तो बीमारी चल रही है ना सांस लेने की कोरोना जो चल रही है तो उससे कुछ कारोबार को फर्क पड़ा है बहुत बड़ा फर्क तो अफगानिस्तान का बूंदी बहुत सख्त है इवन दो द सिक्योरिटी इज गुड फॉर द कंट्री बट द लोकल पीपल स्टिल आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू मेक मनी बिकॉज़ दिस इज देयर लाइवलीहुड सो वी आर वॉकिंग इन खैबर पास राइट नाउ इन द गन मार्केट वेरी डेड बिकॉज़ देयर इज लिटरली लाइक नो वर्क फॉर दीस गाइस ओवर हियर अच्छा आप मुझे बताएं यहाँ पे आपको कौन कौन सी प्रॉब्लम होती है बिजली नहीं है पानी पानी जो है ना पानी पानी का नाम निशान भी नहीं पानी आप कहाँ से लेकर आते हैं ये तो एक एक गिरन लेता है अच्छा बीस रुपए पर तो आपने यहाँ पे सोलर पैनल लगाए हैं अपनी बिजली के लिए हाँ बिजली सोलर पैनल लगाए हैं कुछ भी नहीं है और पाकिस्तानी गवर्नमेंट आपकी मदद नहीं करती यहाँ पे ये ये मदद किया है क्या ना देख ये साल देख ये सफाई काल देखो ये सारा ये कूलर वगैरह पड़ा है पानी नहीं है अगर आप इमरान खान को जो प्रेसिडेंट है यहाँ का उसको अगर कुछ बोलना चाहते हैं तो आप क्या बोलेंगे उसको हम उसको बताएंगे कि हमारे लिए कोई पानी का बिल्कुल बंदोबस्त करो It's cold. Like, it's cold, right? They don't have an uh, electric system over here. We stopped at one of the local areas and they put water inside these little um, like pottery. So we're sitting over here with all the guys. It's called Hujra. They call it Hujra. Hujra means what? Guest house. Like guest house. Common guest house. Common guest house. We pulled over on the side of the road and locals are locals are having like a cricket match over here So that's what we're checking out. So we pulled over to the side of the road and we're gonna try and go play a little bit of cricket with some locals I think he's gonna ball really fast Oh, oh nice ये ची चलो मेरे को क्या मेरे को क्या एक ही करना था आय है जबरदस्त ओए है so this is the scene we have going on right now all around us we got a whole bunch of kids locals and they let us play now our driver is gonna try to like hit some sixers see how it goes Hi. He plays pretty good. Oh, hi, hi. One, two, two. Have a rescue house over here where they have all their vehicles outside, and they have a 
delicious dinner oh, prep for us. Uh, we got naan. What's this? This is a barbecue and a kadai. Oh, a kadai. So we're at a restaurant slash hotel called Shiraz Rana. I copied the Lyle. Oh, you have a kitchen in it? In kitchen over here, where they like cook naans and rotis and everything like that. So he put some cardamom on top and he put in a pot some hot water. We are finally inside our living quarters where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. I came through this little kitchen, personal kitchen over here. Wow, look at this. And look, we even have Ludo, which obviously we're gonna have a game. Now tell you that there is an image here in Pakistan. Now you tell me that you have to change. And you were telling us a little bit of history, which was 8-10 years ago. It wasn't the right situation. Tell me about that. Okay. अभी हमारे रिसेंट जो है ना ट्राइबल एरियाज पाकिस्तान में जो है ना वहाँ पे काफी मिलिट्री ऑपरेशंस हुए थे देशद्रोहों के खिलाफ जो यहाँ पे जो है ना टेररिस्ट थे जो 2001 से जो है ना 2012 तक पूरे खबर पोखरण खाम में अफसास कर कबाइली इलाकों में जो है ना वो बहुत ज़्यादा उनकी सरगर्मी जारी हुई थी तो उनके खिलाफ जो है ना फौजी ऑपरेशन हुए अभी इन्शाल्लाह अभी आप खुद खबर जो है ना विजिट करके आएं तो कितना जो है ना इस इलाकों में अमन है सुकून है और ये लोग जो है ना खुश होते हैं फॉरेनर्स को देखकर मतलब आप पूरी दुनिया में जो है ना घूमेंगे लेकिन जिस तरह ये आपकी मेहमान नवाजी करेंगे तो इन्शाल्लाह फिर आप जिंदगी भर याद रखेंगे दुनिया में कोरोना वायरस चल रहा है उसके बारे में थोड़ा बताएं कि यहाँ पे जो कबीलों के इलाके हैं और आसपास के जो लोकल जो बिजनेस हैं उन पे कोई असर हुआ है कोरोना वायरस जो है ना पूरी दुनिया पे जो है ना उसका असर हुआ है कारोबार भी काफ़ी बंद हो चुके हैं जो दही इलाकों में जो है ना हमारे जिम्मेदार भाई होते हैं और जो सामान फरोख करते हैं यहाँ पे तो कारोबार वगैरह बंद है होटल्स बंद है ख़ास कर शादी हाल्स बंद है तो उस वजह से जो है ना उनको नुकसान हो रहा है हर किसी पे जो है ना दुनिया में मैं देख रहा हूँ कि कोरोना वायरस की वजह से जो है ना उन पर कुछ ना कुछ असर हो रहा है